Next news, Card completely sells out entire tour in Brazil. Less than one day ago, Card uploaded another new single and MV titled Rumor, and it's, well, it's a little bit of an unusual video, I think. It really is. It struck me as being very, something I've never quite seen before in K-pop. Okay, so what are you talking about here? Can you explain? I'm talking about the way that the actual music video is displayed. Now, I get it. I understand why they did that, but if you didn't know, if you haven't seen Card's newest music video, the optimal way to view it is like this. So when you're watching it on a computer, for instance, it comes up like it's filmed as a vertical cell phone video. That's what she's talking about. And if you watch it on YouTube, on your phone, on your screen like this, it'll come up like this. So then if you tap the full screen, it'll fill the full screen and well, it's not something you see every day, even though we're by now very used to seeing people who don't know how to make a video with their cell phone film vertical. This is film vertical on purpose. It's quite a unique way of filming an official MV, but it's also very forward thinking. It really is because most of the Korean population uses their cell phones, their smartphones on a regular basis. And that's the primary way that a lot of people actually around the world view their internet. As far as I know, 60% of everyone who's watching YouTube videos watches on mobile. That's up from 40 something percent a year or two ago. As the audience gets younger, more people are on mobile or tablets, but either way, it's still a smaller device. It's not a laptop or a like, like gaming computer, for instance. And so as that happens, we have to all continue to shape our thinking towards, well, how is mobile going to affect what we're doing, including K-pop music MVs. Yeah, this is something different that we're not used to seeing. I mean, the other thing about Card 2 that is the thing that makes you feel unusual about watching them is the fact that they are a mixed sex group. And this is something that we all can accept very easily, but it's just still so different from what we're used to because they're the first ones and I think when they debuted we were all sort of thinking okay well how serious are they or how good will they be their music is dope their dancing is freaking just really good I feel like personally I mean if I'm gonna just get into how I feel when I'm watching them I want to see how sexy the girls dance but then there's these other guys that are right there so we're not used to seeing this at all it provokes these emotions in us that we're not used to feeling when we watch k-pop or at least it does for me. I mean, what about you guys? I mean, do you feel something different when you're watching Card? Because it would be one thing if they weren't that good, but because they're really good, as good as just about any other group that's debuted in 2016 or 2017, then you watch them closely, and then you're feeling these different things that you're not used to feeling when you're watching a K-pop MV. Comments, how do you guys feel? Do you have any sort of unusual different feeling about Card versus every other K-pop group? Getting back to the phone, part of the reason why they filmed it in the vertical is because they just landed their first commercial big CF contract with LG for their new smartphone, which is the LG G6 smartphone. So because Samsung is having all these problems, LG is putting all of their money into really promoting their cell phones, which have been popular in South Korea and elsewhere, but is not so well known, I think, here in the US. So they're promoting their cell phones and this is the way that they are doing it. And I think it's a really brilliant move on LG's part because this is nothing new in K-pop. K-pop has been selling smartphones since I first started listening to K-pop back in like Big Bang and 21 doing their well, haptic pop phones with their lollipop, which I've talked about before in previous videos. But they usually only choose the hottest, biggest groups of the time. And I think that this is really saying something about Card and who they are and what this co-ed group is doing to K-pop and how it is transforming K-pop. It is a bit of a risk for LG to sink some of their onus into Card when Card hasn't really made that much music or proven that much. But another thing that should be noted about what we're talking about is sponsorships are everything at this point when it comes to making money. Way more than let's try and sell out 
tickets abroad because like for instance card is going to brazil and they sold out a show and they sold out their fan signs and people in brazil love k-pop and apparently they love card too so live shows and live ticket sales are very very important for earning revenue so groups can continue to prosper and make music that we love but the sponsorship thing in korea can never be underestimated this is how all the groups make their money if they can get the sponsorship early, they can feel a little bit more comfortable to be more creative and make more music or make a larger album or make more albums or make more MVs or sink more money into the MV. You guys can see where I'm going there. And I think a lot of you understand this, but I think if you haven't been to Korea or spent time in Korea, or just walked around the streets of Seoul, I mean, it's nothing but advertisements of celebrities. They're everywhere. It's all over the place. You can go there and then you just start recognizing everybody that you already know if you're interested in Korean celebrity. And it's, a good thing that Card is able to land this early. Yeah, it's the Someone first, behind the scenes is working really hard for it's them. It's their first big sponsorship deal. And if you've been following K-pop for any length of time or Korean dramas, you see these sponsorships. You see them on Korean makeup. You see them on other different products. Definitely don't see it quite as much if you don't live in Korea, as I will agree with you there. It's everywhere. K-pop sells everything. Speaking about their tour, their 2017 Wild Card Tour, which I was like at first blown away by because they only have three songs. It's like, how can you have a tour with three hit songs? In a way, K-pop is so strange to me still, but still wildly successful. So the Wild Card Tour, you know, just another step in the evolution of K-pop changing the way we decide what's successful and what's not successful. But they're going to have stops in US, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil. All the ones besides Brazil haven't been announced yet? I think they've actually announced them, but it's Brazil that's catching everybody's attention because they are selling out. I think part of that has to do with the fact that they have such catchy dance hall tunes to them. They're definitely hitting up North and South America just a little bit, getting a taste and seeing how people are reacting to the cards. Don't Recall was my jam. I played it for you. Not that you hadn't heard it, but I was... We were actually sitting right here and I was telling you how much I like card. Like this was last week and I play Don't Recall right before I get on my bike. It's my little ritual. They're dope. They are dope. They totally like tore up my Twitch stream last week because people were like, Ugh. and then I started playing card and everybody was like, oh my gosh, card. I know a lot of you are fans of cards. So comments down below for instance, when did you decide that you actually liked them? Was it the moment they debuted? Was it before they debuted? Was there some moment after they debuted where you had to figure out for yourself how much you liked them and if they were good enough? So I think they've proven themselves at this point, especially with this last video that was uploaded less than a day ago. They rocking it. Do you have a favorite card song? You've got three choices. <laughs> Comments, you guys. Click the like button. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Holly Back. Click the bell for notifications. Check out the link to KGAL. Don't forget to subscribe for more Holly Back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego.